It is currently 3.11 a.m. and I just booked a flight to Puerto Rico that leaves in five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Made it to the gate. Got my passport though. Probably get my passport shipped. At least we're not missing the flight. This is the only one way straight to Puerto Rico. But we should be there in five or six hours. <laughs> Show probably started already, but thank you. Oh, man, getting offered shots, yeah. They turn up over here. Group Saturno and then Toli. Let's find a spot right here. Let's see. First show at the Choli in the books. Gotta go get some food now. I haven't ate anything all day. I didn't eat breakfast, got on the plane, and then I was literally running late to get to the show. So I'm about to go find some food. Beef and burger. Not bad for 2 a.m. It's like a little mini Vegas over here. Got slots, roulette going on, crafts. I got in trouble recording the <laughs> tables at the casino. He was like, bro, cut that off. <laughs> He's like, stop recording. <laughs> I don't gamble myself, but it's kind of cool to have that in the hotel, kind of bring some action. I've awoken starting a little late today because that, that show yesterday was crazy. He said he was gonna go till like 2 a.m. because it was a Sunday. He's like, tomorrow is not Monday, tomorrow is Saturday. He wasn't joking because man, that show went on forever. I left a little early to catch my Uber and I kind of regret it because I missed some songs that I wanted to see. Elvis Crespo came out. Oh, and then they had like an after party outside the venue at like 2, 3 a.m. after the show. So yeah, it was, uh, it was crazy, man. I was definitely up late and so I had to sleep in a little bit to sleep that off. We got some lights. We're on old San Juan now. Oh. Thought I'd come out here and uh, catch the sunrise on the beach before it gets super crowded. Still haven't gone to sleep. Last night was pretty crazy. We were dancing salsa all night in La Factoria, and then we went down into the neighborhoods in old San Juan and went to like a couple reggaeton uh, parties. It was pretty cool, man. Shout out to everybody I met. I definitely wanted to catch the beach before I went to sleep. I'm not gonna wake up like for sunrise, so I have I had to stay up in order to catch this beautiful sunrise. I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be next. I got a whole bunch of options. I can go to Lebra, which is an island off of Puerto Rico. I could go to like Rincon or something like that, but it's gonna be Christmas, so I wanna find a place where I can just kind of chill out and have everything I need so that I'm not like stranded and everything is closed for Christmas. I could also go to DR, but I forgot my passport and I'm trying to see if my brother can ship it to me, where I can ship it here, if it's gonna make it in time. But yeah, so it's kind of between those two, whether to extend in Puerto Rico or to try to get my passport and go to DR. All right, you know how we do it. We just gotta run in, dunk my head in. The water does feel a little cold. All right, one, two, three. There we go. It's the resort. Nice pool. Man, this place has a sick gym. And then downstairs is all the weights. Let's see what my weight is at. I got my fanny pack on, so not completely accurate. I would take like five pounds off of that. So I'm somewhere around 190. So 
so far I've been eating like crazy. That's a wrap for today. I kind of feel lightheaded, I didn't eat nothing. I just had a big ass coffee. So I'm gonna go to the hotel buffet and uh, let's see what they got. Nice little selection here. Selection, got some grits to do. Omelette station. Not bad, pretty good selection. Kind of expensive, but you just gotta eat your money's worth. <laughs> Resort. I'll try to go to a local Puerto Rican baseball league game. This is like their professional league out here at Cangrejero. So we're gonna go check that out. Coliseo Roberto Clemente. Let's see if these boys can play. Who's this right here? I want to hear this search, That's a pretty nice stadium. Alright, let's go to the game. Gangrejeros versus Ponce. Very nice stadium. Come on, boy, swing at something. I forgot how slow baseball is when you're actually watching. You know, if the insurance can cover you, Hey! There it is. Alright, we got some we got some action finally. A little double play. Is that a mascot? Come on, Chalong! 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 Come on, Chalong! Y'all take Chalong! trying to catch one but this net right here is kind of hard to it's kind of hard to catch a ball but man it's a little souvenir to take home from Puerto Rico that's fire La Placita. I'm a little sick, but um, this hotel has been a game changer, man. I'm staying down the street, but I've really just been coming up to this hotel every day using their pool. I just got a massage over there. Um, they got jet skis. I didn't do that yet, but that hotel really changed the game because I do like the room that I'm in, but as far as the facilities, they don't really have nothing too special. This hotel is like double the price per night, so... It actually worked out. I just pull up over there, you know, use the facilities, eat breakfast, all that stuff, and then go back to my to my spot. So, but I definitely caught a cold. I'm gonna try to sleep that off tonight, and hopefully it just goes away. Cause it fucking sucks. I got like a head cold and runny nose and shit, sore throat. But we're gonna power through. All right, so I'm about to get some sleep. Oh man. Shit I do for the content, man. I hope y'all appreciating these videos for real. Getting up at the ass crack of dawn. Still sick, got like body aches. But we gonna get up, man. We gonna go get some breakfast and then I'm gonna go get some footage of Old Town San Juan. I wanted to go check out this basketball court that I saw the first time I was here. It's like right on the water. And for a while, it was uh, Carmelo Anthony's court. And then I think they, I don't know what happened. Maybe he stopped paying for it or something uh, cause they changed it back. Here we are, sun coming up. Water. It's been super rainy, just gets sunny. But yes, yeah, it's, it's really cloudy in uh, Puerto Rico. And it was like that the last time I was here too. So if you guys are planning on coming, just know it's kind of spotty and yeah, super wet right now. That was a beautiful skyline though. Damn. I wonder if people surf over here. A couple big waves. Yeah, I gotta drive down to Isabella today. 
that's like a two three hour trip hopefully i'm not just sick the whole time i'm gonna be there for like three four days so Try to go get a workout in and then uh, get some breakfast. But check out the food. See, it was kind of like a fortress. I'm not gonna go in there because I already checked that out, but I do want to just walk along um, Old San Juan, show you guys that. These are the barrios underneath Old San Juan. What a view to have, man, right in your backyard. What a view. Waves right there. I'm sure this is people that have been here for generations don't want to leave you know i am almost guaranteed that they've been offered a lot of money for these properties um but yeah it's a lot of resistance here resistance to newcomers and uh people that are moving here so it's one of the i don't know what they call it but all right one of the lookouts where you see a attack coming Maybe you can fire her off from here. I'm not a historian, so I can't tell y'all really the significance of this, but pretty cool to see it. These little neighborhoods, man, there was a bunch of parties probably all night. People probably still having a good time from the from last night. Gone. I think the basketball court is somewhere over here, but yeah, it was painted a different color. So when they said it was for for Mello, it was painted yellow, and now it's like I think it was like purple or something. This is the court here. I'm not sure if I can get to it from all the way up here. Oh, I forgot how I got in there last time. Got like a rusted hoop. I don't know. It should be. This should be put to better use for sure, cause it's fire. I guess Despacito is shot here. Home of Despacito, La Perla. So that's the name of the neighborhood, La Perla. La Perla. Yeah, they shot a couple of videos here, I think. I think there was another one, maybe Daddy Yankee or somebody shot a video, like down towards El Moro. All right, I found the entrance. I was up there. I had to hike all the way around. Yeah, this has so much potential, man. I don't know if they hold games here for real, but this would be sick. I'm sure when it's active to watch some games here. It'd be really cool right by the water. Yeah, I wonder why it's not the Carmelo Anthony court anymore. Kind of interesting. Mi barrio no se vende. Beautiful. Waves are insane over here though. Some of the buildings, some of the houses and restaurants inside of Old San Juan. Really nice colors. I think the city center is somewhere down here. Looks like a university. B&B and Isabella um, you know it's cool decor is a little bit uh, I guess it's like beach decor but it's not really my style to be honest but um, it's cool it's a nice spot it's got a TV in the living room this weird ass couch bro like this shit this is like an outdoor chair. 
not the most comfortable, but um, check out the outside. Nice little community, kind of private, gated. I'm gonna go try to find some food now. It looks like I'm a little bit far from some of the restaurants. Um, driving is like five minutes. I think a lot of people have a car over here, but I don't have a car. So I might have to walk like 20 minutes. All right, I'm kind of cooked out here. I've been walking along the highway. I gotta see if there's like a rental, something like a scooter or a motorcycle or something. I gotta see where they got that scooter from. And it's not as busy as uh, people were saying, like during the high season and stuff. All right, so I just checked out uh, the uh, bikes and the scooters. So he rents them out by the hour. And uh, he's talking about if he wants to do it by the day, he'll do it for like $65 a day for a little electric bike. I don't think that's worth it. I probably should have just rented a car in San Juan, but the whole point of this was I thought I was going to be right in front of the beach and I was just going to surf like these next three days but um, it ended up being way further than I, than I thought I don't know man, $65 for a bike that's kind of crazy but let's see what else is out here this is Zobos Beach but yeah, let's, I'm trying to find the scooter I've seen a couple people with these scooters and I think this would be perfect. Probably tax him, but this would be the move right here. Yeah, that would be perfect. Do you know where the, those are like gasoline scooters are? So, oh, the, the gasoline? No, they, they own it. They own it? Oh, okay. The driver license for, for, for motorcycles. Okay. We secured a rental finally man this has been a hell of a day bro just walking around good thing i met alberto man shout out to him i don't know if you're gonna see this man but you're a lifesaver he drove me to the airport where the car rentals are um he got me a, a good deal from one of the i guess he knew the manager at one of the car rental places so he hooked me up with a good deal now that i have a car I'm gonna probably explore the island, man. I could I could go wherever. I might go to Ponce, I might go to Rincon, Mayaguez. There's a lot of a lot of places I can go to, so Wow. I'm gonna get some groceries. Everything's gonna be closed, I think, for uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas. Might have been a little crazy for just two days, but better safe than sorry. I don't want to be starving on Christmas. Stepping up some Totino's pizza rolls right now. The oven didn't have a clean pan. I start, I cleaned it and then I wiped it down and there was like some black stuff on it. You know what I'm saying? So I tanned some Totino's pizza rolls. And um, I think I got enough groceries. I'm only here for two days, so pretty stocked up with like eggs, bagels, milk, oatmeal. Little things, coffee, creamer. I should be good. I shouldn't even have to go out to eat anything. Groceries weren't as expensive as I thought they would be. For what I got, I mean, it is expensive, don't get me wrong, but people were saying groceries are like double the price. That wasn't really the case, but just a little bit more pricey. That's not all from Puerto Rico. We got more coming up next video. I'm exploring the whole west side of the island, Isabella, Rincon, Aguadilla. We're getting some surfing in. So tune in next video. It's your boy Sully2Live. Till next time.